I'd like, I'd like if we could go back still to that question of impressions that people have, feelings that people have right here from what they've seen of one another in, the, in, this, in this meeting. Anybody got any thoughts about that? Well, I'm a little worried about Alice because she's so quiet. You just sit there, you don't have very much to say this afternoon. You know, it, it takes me a long time to get comfortable in, in this kind of group. You know, it just seems so intense here, you know, like every word is being studied. I'm just afraid to what others will think about me. Well, um, I, I saw you smiling earlier, Alice. I, I felt that you were judging me. <laughs> being judgmental? I didn't get that. I just felt she didn't want to be put on the spot. Ellen, I noticed that you uh, attempted to take the focus off of Alice during the introductory round. You seem to be very sensitive to her discomfort. Well, I disagree with that. I don't believe that he was being sensitive to her. I think she, he should have given her the full time to, to say what she had to say. I think Alan may have actually just wanted more time for himself. How, how do you feel about that, Alice? Let's check that out. It, it's not true. I, I don't want the spotlight. You know, I'm very shy. And um, in fact, when I go to parties, I make it a point to come in late so that I could help the hostess clean up the glasses. How was it for you today in group, Alice? No glasses to clean here. <laughs> no, I, actually, I thought about bringing some coffee cake at the next meeting. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe some glasses. <laughs> Say some more about your experience, though, Alice. I just want to just interrupt you for a minute, uh, Alan, because I think something really important happened here just a couple minutes ago. I want to just focus on just a second. I'm, I'm really interested, Bob, in, in what you just said about your own gay experience when you were younger. Have, have you ever said that before to anyone else? Oh, uh, uh, once. Uh... Ten years ago, to my to my therapist, and until this moment, this group you've never told anyone else, never told peers. No, I, I, I've never told any group of people that. No. I have a hunch that uh, that was a, a real gift to Alan. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess I get so wrapped up in my own emotions, I don't think about other people's feelings. I. I guess that's what Betty meant when she told me about it a couple of weeks ago. But Alan, I don't think you're still acknowledging Bob's gift to you. <laughs> I guess you're right. Uh, I don't know why it's so difficult for me just to come out and say thank you. I mean, thank you all, because, because you've all been supported and you've all helped me. I appreciate it. <laughs> I got it off my chest. <laughs> I'm glad you did, Alan. You feel, you feel finished, or there are other parts of this you want to work on today? Well, I. Well, <clears throat> no, not. No, no, not, not, not today. No. As far as you want to go today. 